the future's here, and it's about to start getting insane. Tech has come a long way, turning those chunky 80s phones into sleek, super smart devices. Remember the old Nokia snake game? Now we've got fancy, high-tech capabilities in the palm of our hands. It's pretty amazing how far we've come. But the tech revolution doesn't stop at smartphones. Brace yourself for a paradigm shift with emerging technologies like cutting-edge virtual glasses and a game-changing satellite launcher. In this video, we'll explore nine innovations reshaping our world. Get ready for a glimpse into the tech-driven future that awaits us. Number 9. Gojo Vision's Prototypes Gojo Vision is all about invisible computing, boasting founders from major tech giants like Apple, Google, Amazon, and Microsoft. Their ambitious goal is to reduce our reliance on screens. Imagine, instead of reaching for your phone mid-conversation, a quick glance to the corner of your eye activates an interface providing instant updates, like a comment on your Twitter profile. Exciting, right? Well, the wait might be necessary because creating smart contact lenses isn't a walk in the park. Alphabet's subsidiary, Verily, face challenges in their smart lens program, requiring the right sensors, sizes, power, a display, and an image sensor. These sensors include custom wireless radios and motion sensors for eye tracking and image stabilization. Wearing the lens won't impact your direct line of sight, but a shift in gaze to any corner could reveal icons for a calendar, weather, notifications, music playback, and more. The question remains, would you be interested in having your phone screen on your eyes? Let us know in the comments. We're actually really curious about this one. Number 8. Cultured Meat Cultivated meat, which is also called cultured meat, is a real animal meat like seafood and organ meats, and it's made by directly cultivating animal cells. With this method, there's no need to raise and farm animals to make food. Cultivated meat is made of the same kinds of cells that are arranged in the same or a very similar way in animal tissues. All of that means that it tastes and has the same nutritional value as regular meat, but it never had to be a part of any living animal. In 2013, Mark Post, a Dutch scientist, showed the world the first burger made from meat grown in a lab. Within two years, the first four companies that cultivated meat were launched. Since then, the industry has grown to include more than 60 companies on six continents, with more than $450 million invested in them. Each of these companies wants to make cultivated meat products. The Singapore Food Agency gave the green light for the world's first meat product grown in a lab to go on sale in December of 2020. Shortly after that, the approved cultivated chicken nugget made by Eat Just in California was sold commercially for the very first time. Do you want to try a lab-grown chicken nugget? Or do you prefer your nuggets from a real chicken? Before we go on, like this video, smash that subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or the centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 7. 3D Printing 3D printing is a way to make solid objects with three dimensions from a digital file. With 3D printing, you can make complicated shapes with less material than traditional methods. In its early stages, 3D printing was only good for making prototypes and one-offs. Now, however, it's quickly becoming a production technology. Most of the demand for 3D printing right now comes from the business world. Acumen Research and Consulting thinks that by 2026, the global market for 3D printing will be worth a whopping $41 billion. 3D printing has already been used by car companies for a long time. Automakers are printing spare parts, tools, jigs, fixtures, and even parts that'll be used in the final product. 3D printing has made it possible to make things on demand, which has led to less stock and shorter design and production cycles. So, this is one tech that looks to change the way we make things forever. Who knows what the future might hold? One day you might be able to just print your own car at home. Number 6. Graphene and Graphene Oxide Graphene, a hexagonal lattice of carbon atoms, is astonishingly thin, only one atom thick, to be exact. Serving as the foundational structure of graphite found in pencil tips, graphene possesses captivating properties that have earned it the moniker the wonder material. As the thinnest known material, it stands out for its remarkable strength, as it is about 200 times stronger than steel. Beyond its thinness and strength, graphene excels as a conductor of both heat and electricity, showcasing versatile applications. Its ability to absorb light in intriguing ways further enhances its potential. Widely touted as a material with transformative capabilities, graphene has the capacity to revolutionize various industries. By utilizing graphene reinforced foam to cover noisy components, Ford achieves a 17% reduction in noise, a 20% increase in strength, and a 30% improvement in heat resistance. Graphene's versatility positions it as a material with the potential to bring about significant advancements in diverse fields, including consumer electronics and automotive engineering. Number 5. Spin Launch 
an American company has tried out a way to send satellites into space that uses a high-speed spinning machine instead of conventional rockets. The machine, which runs on kinetic energy, is meant to make satellite launches much cheaper and use way less fuel. Spin Launch is located in California, and that's where they made the system. A test launch happened recently at a private space station, Space Launch Complex in the western state of New Mexico, called Spaceport America. The company said that payloads from several groups, including the American Space Agency, NASA, were used in the tests. Spin Launch said in a statement that all of the test payloads were flown and recovered successfully. Didn't say anything about what the payloads were, though. Oh, what's that? You want to know what I would fire into space using kinetic energy? How about those, uh, Twitter trolls from earlier? Anyway, the suborbital accelerator from Spin Launch was a success in the tests. It's a 33-meter steel structure with a spinning arm that's powered by electricity. Inside the accelerator is a satellite. The fast turning of the system creates kinetic energy that's meant to spin the satellite faster than five times the speed of sound. The suborbital accelerator is made to send the satellite into an orbit close to Earth, about two zero kilometers above the surface of the Earth. Spin Launch wants to keep adding to its technology and equipment so it can send things into even higher orbits. Something about this just kind of blows my mind. Number 4. GPS-3 Since 1993, the U.S. Air Force has shared its global positioning system with the world. GPS has become a regular part of our daily lives, found in our phones, cars, and watches. The U.S. continues to invest in developing this technology for both regular folks and the military. The latest development, GPS-3, is underway with two satellites already in orbit and eight more in the works. Here's what you can look forward to when GPS-3 is fully operational in 2023. While the current GPS works fine, GPS-3 is said to be a lot better. It's expected to be three times more accurate, reducing the current accuracy range of 5 to 10 meters to just 1 to 3 meters. The signal will also be stronger, making it more resistant to interference. This upgrade means that positioning and tracking will become incredibly precise and reliable. Now, if I can just figure out where I left my car keys. Number 3. Self-Healing Concrete A brand new type of concrete is now a reality and it's a concrete that amazingly can just fix itself. It works like the way that wounds on the body heal themselves by secreting some kind of special substance to make self-healing concrete. Certain materials, like fibers or capsules, that contain adhesive liquids are added to the concrete mix. When the crack happens, the fibers or capsules will break, releasing the liquid inside, which will fix the crack right away. Self-healing concrete, on the other hand, is still in the research phase, though. It's still a long way from being used in the concrete business, because regular concrete doesn't have a very high tensile strength, it often cracks. And these cracks make concrete less durable because they make it easy for liquids and gases that could contain harmful substances to move through the concrete. When micro cracks get bigger and reach the reinforcement, they can damage not just the concrete, but also the steel bars that hold it all together. So it's important to keep the cracks from getting too big and to fix them as soon as possible. So basically, cracks in concrete that can fix themselves would make structures last longer and make the material not just more durable, but also more sustainable. Sustainable, and that's a good thing. Number 2. Gene Therapy Gene therapy is a way to treat or prevent disease by fixing the genetic problem at the root of the problem. Gene therapy is a way for doctors to treat diseases without using drugs or surgery. Instead, they just change a person's genes. The first method of gene therapy, which is sometimes called gene transfer or gene addition, was made to add a new gene to cells to help fight a disease or to add a normal copy of a gene to replace the one that was changed in causing the disease. Some diseases like a condition related to the eyes called liver congenital amaurosis and a problem with the muscles called spinal muscular atrophy are now being treated with gene therapies. Research is being done on a lot more gene therapies to make sure that they're safe and effective. Genome editing is another promising technique that doctors are looking into and hope to soon use to treat diseases. And this could be a major game changer in modern health. Number 1. Connected Home a connected home is a network, so devices, services, and apps can connect together and work to keep your home running smoothly. You get that app for descaling the shower downloaded, and that'll save you a lot of annoyance, I think. People living in a connected home can control and monitor their home from anywhere, from inside and from outside of it, but it'll be a while before the market reaches its full potential. According to experts, many consumers still don't know what the point of all these connected devices is, and early adopters have a lot of problems that haven't been resolved yet, even though there's a lot of possibilities. The dream homes that are fully connected are still a long way off. We haven't seen explosive growth in the market yet, but players who are well positioned can still make a ton of money as curiosity grows among people who want to live inside of a giant iPhone. 
What do you think? Will these new technologies make the world better or kinda scary? Whether it's tech wizards or robots taking over, I'm cool either way. Drop your thoughts in the comments. And hey, check out our other cool stuff popping up on the screen.